Uh, I'm an artist from Russia, from St. Petersburg, uh, and uh, today I suggest to play this board game, uh, which is called Russia uh, Land of Opportunities. This game is mainly describing the situation uh, with the countries with which Russia still have no visa agreement, uh, especially the Central Asian republics, uh, as uh, former republics as uh, Tajikistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan. Uh, so, who wants to play? Me. Come. <laughs> So, guys, um, in, in this game you are citizens of former Soviet Republic at, uh, and at home you have no way to find work and feeding your family. Uh, so you decide to seek work in Russia and uh, your goal is to make enough money and to come back home. Uh, so who does it first is the winner. That if you come as a refugee in order to obtain uh, legal status and in order to just like get uh, some kind of like uh, friendly attitude, uh, you have uh, to create some kind of story. And uh, you, you, you even said that well, the, every migrant is a film director. director. Well, five years I was like in Europe, I was moving like this, you know, so many countries, I didn't have any permission. I, I was so honest in the, when I came to Finland, uh, European country. I felt like it's not working. You should to play somehow. You should to say making like some history, some uh, script, you know, in your mind, and then tell them the things and uh, even they are not true. Uh, it's not means that we are liar or we are like a bad people or something. Just we know. If we say the truth, we don't get like any permission, and we cannot go back to our countries. Uh, you basically start uh, to work. Yes. <laughs> so, so you you got wow. the job. That's all. <laughs> and unfortunately, you know, uh, two is um, uh, the Federal Migration Service uh, raid. Uh, it means that, like for instance, in the place where you live. Uh, enters uh, police and just starts to ask everyone documents. All right. And uh, so, so like uh, yeah. they come and yeah. they check if you have a migration card. Yes. We have. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, uh, then do you have um, like work permit? Yes. Uh, yes. But then like your problem is uh, like do you speak Russian? Mm, no. no. <laughs> then like even though you have all the documents. Uh, you can't explain that you don't have any problems and the, uh, everything is fine and they, they still bribe you 1,000 rubles. If I tell you how I came to Europe, I would say, as I told you, 24 hours I was on the axle, you know, under the car, this lorry, big car, you know, I was going under the, the car, you know, I was sitting under one small metal, 24 hours. I could, even I was hitting my head like to the wall, uh, to the metal around, you know, not to sleep. Only that, because if you sleep or like you just fall some, for one second, you lose your life. We bring the food for two days, you know, and we was walking, 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 three days, four days, five days. We were not. We was just in the middle of the, I don't know, somewhere in the, like, uh, some desert. And then there was no any food, there was no any water. We was drinking uh, some dirty water on the ground. Uh, but, you know, all of the, these things is because of one thing because of this paradise we was making it in the, our country for us, you know, it was a disillusion. We was, we was just thinking about that, that's why the, in the life aim is so important. If you have a, some like aim in your life, you can do everything. That's why they say that you should dream. <laughs>